can have you as well. Now Sarge autopsy this vein pump from that Commodore fuel pump I popped and did an autopsy on earlier. That's the actual pump itself. And there the veins. And that's the centre um, rotor. It's not a scroll type pump. As you can see in the edges there's a bit of wear. Where it's shiny is where it's worn. Taking the little retainer out, there's a little centre plastic in there as a bearing, it centres it. I've taken that out. That's set in there, and these veins would have sat inside there. Like that. As this would have turned, the petrol would have got forced into a smaller space and forced out, I think it was this side here, back to the, to the engine. Look at the wear on this other part, this is the um, outer surface here. As you can see, there's a fair bit of wear on that. Really shiny. This is all hardened steel plate, precision machined. So. Who'd have thought a fuel pump could be so well made and engineered? There you go. Put this back together and give you an idea what it looks like without the um, front piece on. Okay, if you always like to turn this into a screwdriver and you just about get the basic idea of how it works. So you see that um, the veins are forced outwards. Yeah. And that's where fuel gets caught in and gets squashed and pushed out further back and further out take into the engine. And that's how it um, yeah, keeps it at constant pressure. And the engine computer just uh, keeps regulating it. Of course, this, this is only going when the engine's uh, during startup and when the engine's running. So, yeah. This does get a lot of work. I've also decided to scrap this uh, terminal cover ID because I made a new one for this using this email them to terminal cover as a template. I decided to cut up that um, 6 volt battery from a motorcycle. You will have seen this battery in previous videos, charging it up on that. Well, that battery scrapped now. I've taken the, um, it just so, just so happens to be the exact same shape and size as the terminal cover. So I decided to cut this up. Cut a couple of mil off it, taking the partitions out using a hot knife, cut a nice little uh, uh, clearance here for the bottom of the meter here, and this fits perfectly. And that just goes in there, and that hole lines up, which I melted with a nail. This is pretty hard plastic, very brittle, so almost the same characteristic as a Bakelite. All I gotta do now is just sand this up, rough it up, give it a coat of paint, uh, black paint, and it'll look factory. Okay, viewers, a paint saw dry. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at that. Looks bloody original now. Found a CRT um, neck clamp. Take these bolts out, and they happen to fit these, um, these here, these all brass nuts fit perfectly. So cut it down, re-tap the thread so it wouldn't damage a brass nut. That fits in perfectly. Has a lot of characteristics to the original um, non-tamper type. If I just draw the hole on the side of it, that'll pretty much look original. So let's put this on. Oh, let's bolt it up and see how it looks. Looking better already. Okay, if you the terminal covers on. That's a 95% match to what the original one would have looked like. It looks much better. Alright. Might as well do an overview of what the um, cells look like inside this batch. Okay, the old has the cells. See there, that's all um, sulfation. And that's just yeah, kill the battery and take a lot of current capacity out of it. It's pretty hard. And that's the um, fiberglass plates that separate these. One side's positive, one side's negative. And they're separated by these mats in between. 
that right stuff sort of the sulfur builder. I did wash these good before I um, started touching them. You don't want to get acid all over your skin. So yeah. Big difference between a real car battery and that little tiny battery I cut up. Little six volt probably. Uh, probably five amp hour max, this little battery, if that. There you go. That's rock solid sulfur there. Totally robbed this battery of holding any charge. As you can see, this is what I want to put the Epsom, Epsom salts in. It didn't really do much. The sulfide is supposed to pulse and break down that lead sulfur, but that's just too far gone. Thanks for watching.